Hi right, guys, welcome back. We have got Dev Report number 10 for Armory Forger. We have just had the update, which is just below there, for Xbox and PC for the cross play, which is what a lot of people are waiting for. Uh, has it populated the servers? And also, how is Xbox getting on with PC servers and um, things like that? Please let me know down in the comments below. Um, and also, welcome. Here we go, Dev Report number 10. So, let's have a look what we've got to go through today. Uh, not a lot, actually. Um, I'm not even going to look at that picture yet. We're going to get to that. So hold your horses. So here we are, guys. Armour and Forger. If you want the uh, link, it will be in the description. Otherwise, we're going to go through it together now. Uh, Dev report number 10. So attention, this time we're presenting the release of the crossplay features. Upcoming 0.9.6 update with some added bonuses. Let's go. And the new web workshop. Um, the machine never stops. So, Intelligence, we are happy to announce that after several weeks of development, we are finally delivering the cross-play feature PC and Xbox players are hereby able to play together. This is especially good news for Xbox players who have wished to play on servers with mods. We already prepared several official server hostings, um, the Game Master Conflict and Capture and Hold game modes where you can battle together immediately. Server admins also allowed to create their own cross-play servers. Pretty cool running either with vanilla content or with modded content and we've updated our um bi key Bicky documentation to explain how to configure it so if i remember i'll put this in there a uh, description otherwise i have the dev report in the description every time anyway so just click on that and then click on this uh, to explain how to configure it for players simply check out the multiplayer server browser click on your filters and enable cross play to join on the fun so multiplayer server browser click on your filters and click yes to cross play and then you can get on there uh some necessarily uh necessary sorry quality of life improvements were also shipped this week for example how the game also allows you to unbind the control keys if you find a default binding for a particular action that you don't need you may unbind it and um your life in everyone becomes a bit easier so another two of the upgrades uh may say save said life uh, now you don't need to manually assign the available bandages to the slot in this stressful situation. Available bandages get re-equipped automatically to your slot bar. Also, slot 4 now has the controller hint in order to let players know how to select grenades quickly. In regards to uh, the highly anticipated network optimizations version 0.9.5.109. Sounds like a radio station. Um, but multiple smaller Traffic optimizations and important fixes for known cases of kicks from the game. This was a big issue to begin with. It's been getting better and better. But now Xbox are on servers with PC and mods. That might open up a whole new world of uh, kicks and things like that. But look at them dishing them out all the time, man. So there was updates every week and dev reports every week. But now we're getting them every fortnight. So thanks to your highly appreciated feedback. Our internal playtest and improved diagnostic methods and tools. We're able to locate these issues. We found and resolved several significant problems that happen when there are a lot of replicated items and the player's connection gets flooded by it. Okay, so there you go. There's some top information for you on the intelligence. Now moving down to operations. What is this detached scope? Oh, that's pretty cool. So um, operations, as in every dev report, we aim to inform you also about what you can expect in the future and what is planned uh, to be in development. So coming soon, our first major update. 0.9.6 is very close and we are focused on delivering the best results we can as one of our biggest updates yet we can expect not only a larger number of fixes and stability improvements but also as a small surprise some of the features that we originally meant for the ground uh, support milestone we'd like to know how you feel about the features before they uh, become final so here's a little visual teaser on what is to come and looks pretty cool detach scope guys so Press F there, so I'm guessing when we can get some maybe four grips and other things like that for the M16 or whatever, we're going to be able to maybe do the sort of the battlefield thing where you can ch -ch 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 and just customize on the fly, which is pretty cool because obviously Dragonov's got quite a, a zoomed in PSO scope on it. So if you take that off for close quarter situations, because it's semi automatic anyway, so that's pretty cool. Additionally, in case you missed it, we released our plans for the third up, uh, future and you can learn about them in our developmental roadmap so this is another link here these updates with our guide to our 1.0 release and we're working on hard features as promised um as a clarification updates like the 0.9.5.109 update we released this week among our minor updates to focus on bug fixes stability optimizations and tweaks uh, the update 0.9.6 vision 
mentioned previously that will include new features and content belonging to the major updates as well as fixes, tweaks and minor optimizations. As for milestone updates like the closest ground support in the roadmap, they will include a set of um, related features and content which will fulfill a certain topic or theme for players. Uh, now the distinction is clear. We have two important announcements. Okay, what are these then? You can expect improvements related to weapon deployment, game master, and conflict gameplay rules in the upcoming 0.9.6 major update. Pretty good to hear. The feature released in the ground support will be getting improvements with a major update. Milestone updates in the future. Development of them won't stop after the first milestone. Uh, last but definitely not least, we have added the in-game workshop to our website. This is uh, only the first version of, uh, and we will keep working on improving it. For now, you can browse mods whenever you like and share it with your friends without having to start the game. That's pretty cool. Uh, and lastly, right here, we've got some logistics for this dev report. Um, now to create community, uh, now to our great community, this is consistently creating amazing things. We managed to select some of the outstanding content out there to highlight the latest Unity Radar check comrade 2 to see what players are making for the community so that is here comrade 2 so you've got the art devs videos stream uh and things like that Art, uh, look at that that looks beautiful man so you know this is what the engine is capable of looking like you wait till we, they add the until there's helicopters flying and tanks rolling down the street and everything it's going to be pretty sick there so Additionally, director of the Armoury Forger launch trailer, Vladimir Jasky or Husky probably made a highly recommended cinemat cinematic and VFX tutorial for all interested in making cinematic community video screenshots or just learning about the fascinating field of game development in the Fusion engine. It is a sick engine. Uh, you might have noticed as well, but we've gone to name our updates to reflect the numerical build versions. The reason for this is clear a distinction when specifying updates and we are dealing with uh, two platforms thanks for understanding and as always we are grateful for your feedback your contribution is immeasurable published at 12 august today um august 2022 so there you go uh the link for this is going to be in the description so you'll be able to get to all these highlighted bits if you need to and have a little look this cinematic and vfx tutorial is awesome as well especially if you're a content creator like me you can make some awesome thumbnails out of there but again and there you go, a little visual what's come. We're looking on the road to 1.0. We've got a major, the first major update coming, which I'll be covering. So make sure you are like the video, subscribe to me, and um, we'll get through that together. Apart from there, boys and girls, they're report number 10. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.